Alright, so we're back with the only game where the more you break physics, the more money you make. It's Farming Simulator 19. I've got two primary goals today. The secondary goal is to make a bunch of money selling potatoes, and the primary goal is to utilize a grossly inefficient and completely inappropriately large conveyor belt system in order to do so. I want it to be really big. I, if at all possible, I eventually want it to go across the entire map. So in order to do something this ridiculous, we need a lot of money. Now luckily in Farming Simulator 19, the developers have enabled a way for us to make a lot of cash very quickly. If you want to follow with me, you can do so. All you're going to need here is at least a thousand uh, dollars, uh, Britain bucks, euros, whatever you got. And you're going to need to buy yourself a chainsaw. Hmm, there we go. It really doesn't matter which one, but I would pick the steel. Next, you're going to want to go into town. Once here, go ahead and find someone that looks fairly well to do. There's a nice gentleman right there. Now at this point, you may want to lower your uh, headphone volume down to about 10% of its normal volume. So you prepare your chainsaw, rev it up. And then all you have to do is go And that's really all there is to it. Make sure to uh, let me know in the comments section below uh, how much money you managed to get utilizing this method. Anyway, I'm with the uh, I'm with the build here. So potatoes start with a P, pain in the ass starts with a P, and we're going to need a bunch of items in order to make this work over to the tractors. We need something massive because uh, we're going to be hauling like a lot of super heavy equipment. Uh, sure. Yeah, this one's red and red means it goes faster. Go ahead and soup up that engine. I'm going to tell you something. Farming is a very violent sport. All right. This looks, this looks like something that you would take to war. Potatoes are living creatures too, all right? They just don't scream when we rip them out of the ground. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and load this demonic entity up because we've got to bring it over to our first field. Now, the first field that we went ahead and purchased isn't very far away. I decided to have something somewhat close to the bakery. So we went ahead with this one over here. So this, I don't know how many conveyor belts this will take to go straight from here to the bakery area. Probably not that many though. All right, so how good is this thing at going off road? I'm very curious. Yep, can basically climb a vertical surface. Fantastic. Oh, farming simulator. You're so good with physics. I love you so much. Oh, those Wily Duke boys are at it again. Here we go. <laughs> In case you were wondering what the inside of a uh, half a million dollar machine looks like, uh, this is pretty much it. Quite comfy. All right, so Leslie over there is uh, doing their thing as they do, plowing down the previous potentially money-making field, but we don't need that. Everyone in Europe is going to learn to live on potatoes. So help me God. That's right, Leslie. Put your back into it. Make that beautiful machine hum. Man, that thing is dangerous looking. Alrighty, potatoes, go. All right, so while our two minions are uh, breaking their back in like almost a million dollars of hardware so that we don't have to, now it's time to start setting up the conveyor belt system. And while we're at it, I think I'm gonna buy a pick em up truck. There's the drunken John Deere, as you guys so lovingly put it in the comments section. We'll go ahead and keep that. Now, the only reason I picked this is because its top speed is really good. And apparently, it doesn't care about terrain either. That's how you fly. That's how you fly in Farming Simulator 19. All right, so we're just going to bring this completely safely right over here. There we go. Looking back at this, I think I completely underestimated how many belts this was going to take. All right, we've got a lot of money, so I think we need a different tractor. It's getting close to Christmas, so we might as well go green for this one. All right, yeah, this seems like a great idea. I can't, I can't see this going wrong in any kind of way. Far in the distance, our two minions are still hard at work. They're doing a pretty good job, too. Look at this. Look at how uniform. Look at how glorious. Considering I'm going to be moving a bunch of these, I can't seem to figure out a way to get, I can get them connected when they're not attached to a farming instrument. But when they're attached to this, they won't- I can't move like a bunch of them. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of wondering if I could just find a way to pay someone off to deliver these things right over by the farm. Because moving them back and forth is gonna be a real pain in the ass. Alright, we've got a few conveyor belts down. We're gonna need a lot more. Oh, also, how's our potatoes doing? Because it looks like they're almost ready to be harvested, which is good. Because I need to test out whether or not this conveyor belt will work appropriately. Mmm, perfect. So we haven't thrown down enough money yet. So, another half a million. Remember how I said everything looks like a giant war machine? Yeah. Oh yeah. That is a lot of french fries, man. It's just, it's just flat JPEGs of potatoes. There's not, there's nothing to it. It's, it's, it's just funny to watch. There's no third dimension. It's just a flat strip of potatoes. That moment when you realize how lazy you are in Farming Simulator 19. Yeah, 
So this is happening. I have to go fill it up with a bunch more potatoes. <laughs> but here's what's going on right now. So basically, this gigantic Frankenstein of a conveyor system goes all the way through town. Kind of hooks around here like so. skip a -doos over this way. And ends up at the end of our field. So the plan is, I'll be able to slap down tons of potatoes over here. This thing will start picking it all up. And it'll continue to feed delicious potatoes all the way over into the area. Now there is something of an issue here. Uh, when I hooked up however many freaking conveyor belts that is. I, I don't even know how many that is. When I hooked them up, slowly over time they kind of started to warp and glitch. Because things. And uh, now the initial conveyor belt is kind of levitating off the ground. But I, I don't know, maybe it'll still work. Alrighty. So... If I do this, oh, I slapped it and it kind of hit the ground. Well, that worked out well. If I do this, do good things happen? Let's find out. Oh, yes. <laughs> Perfect. So things are doing well. We need to find a way to make like a much larger pile of potatoes though. Oh yeah. Oh, it's perfect. I just wish that there was a way to automate this thing over here so it would follow. This is gonna be a lot of freaking potatoes. See, the big problem with the potatoes, besides taking forever to boil, is that it fills up the harvester like really fast. This field is also gigantic. So one pass on the field Fills up the harvester. There we go. Got it on cruise control. It's a little fire and forget it now. Awesome. Now I can walk away and go get a sandwich. And when I come back, we'll have delicious potatoes to sell all throughout Europe. I like the looks of that right there. It looks like the slaughter of potatoes and the making of money. So this is what it's like to rain potatoes. You can see how high depth the potatoes are. Very lifelike. Have you ever seen a rain of potatoes <laughs> look so realistic? <laughs> Smells fresh. Never thought I'd drown in potatoes. That's effectively what's happening right now. We got a lot of potatoes to go. There's still plenty of space in this friggin' thing. I cannot believe how many potatoes this thing can hold. Well, to be fair, it's a semi. Leslie, how you doing? Stoic as always. I can only imagine what's going through her head. If she never sees another potato, it'll probably be too soon. Now my plan is, if I can stomach it without going completely insane and wanting to like throw myself into an auger, is that we have the conveyor belts going down the entire map to the furthest point. Actually, hold on, let's find something out here. Uh, the next field is over here and then over here. Can we buy these like right now? Yeah, why not? I'm buy this too and this. I want all the land in between. There we go. Farming Simulator 19. Working perfectly. <laughs> Got a little bit of a clipping, but it's no big deal. Okay, maybe we have a lot of clipping. The potatoes are blowing out the side of the semi. <laughs> Is it just me or does this look really distressing? Just open your mouth and catch all the extras. We might fill this trailer up this pass. I'm really looking forward to it. I was waiting to fill this thing up entirely before we drop it all over at the conveyor belt because I really want to know how much you get for a full semi-trailer potato. Now, obviously, we could wait until the price goes up, but I'm not that stingy. I just I just want to know now. Oh, man. So close. Just getting the last little bit. The last few taters. Got to shove them in there. And we are finally freaking full. Good. If I tip this thing over and send all the potatoes flying, I'm going to feel real bad. Okay. I don't know. I think that's a pretty good position. Let's freaking do this. There it goes. Oh my god. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> oh, you have to be inside for it to unload completely. All right, hold on. Keep it going. Keep all those. Yes. Keep the storm of potatoes flying out. Oh, it is everywhere. It's starting to lift up my ramp. 
my conveyor belt. Wow, there's still plenty to go. Still got another 10,000. That is a pile of potatoes. If ever I did see one. If you look far enough, you can actually see all the way to the end over there. How long does it take before the money starts rolling in? Hope everyone likes a little bit of exhaust with their potatoes. Oh, there goes the money. There she goes. So right here, this is the life of a potato. We can follow it through its journey. See? Goes down the roadway right over here. Back it up traffic like 30 cars deep. Everyone's slaying on their horn. <laughs> Listen, I'm making money here, people. Deal with it. You can actually outrun the potatoes if you do this. And then finally, this is where it all ends up. In the middle of the void. I don't know how. But the uh, the potatoes are getting suctioned from the pile. I, I'm not going to question it. I should probably buy a leveler. So that if the potatoes get spilled out too far, we can kind of like push it into the conveyor belt. There were a couple plots of land on this side that I didn't own. I thought we should go ahead and take care of it. I just kind of want to bump it over to the side a little bit. Just to see if it can get extra potatoes. There we go. A couple extra more. 12,000. Not bad. Cutting trees is probably still better. There we go. Now we're getting some of the rest of the potatoes. Although making the most amount of money wasn't really the point. The real point was this insanity. Making this gigantic sadness thing. Got most of the potatoes. I mean, there's still a couple on the ground, but for the most part, it picked up quite a few. Spent about $10 million. And um, this is what we've accomplished. I think, I think it was money well spent. I'm just following the last remnants of sweet, delicious potato. How come these potatoes are so tiny? They like really petite potatoes. So another $861. I'm happy with the work. We just need to keep heading that way with more and more conveyor belts. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Farming Simulator 19. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.